How did you both come out to your families? That's a long story. What is going on everybody? We are here with a little Q&A video. Um, decided to bring Joey in on the video this time. He was pretty popular on my Instagram takeover during the drive out here to Seattle. Um, got a lot of positive, positive reviews and everybody loved having him do it. Um, and this special one, guest appearance. special guest appearance by Glitter uh, in the video as well. So put up some, uh, you know, asked for some questions last night. Thank you all for everybody that submitted. We got a ton, so we're gonna kind of work our way through these. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. So. Um, First question is, what do you think, or when do you think will be the first comp you do after you're fully recovered? So my plan is to compete in May, end of May-ish um, is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, originally, I had hoped to be competing in April or beginning of May, but unfortunately I had a little bit of a setback with my arm um, about a week ago where I tripped and fell over this beautiful beast. Um, tried to catch myself and to be totally honest, thought I retore my tricep tendon. Um, it was about 9.30 at night. On I, your birthday. On my, on my birthday. Um, I yelled for Joey, he came running in and like, you know, I was in the same exact position that I was after I tore my tricep doing the log press, so kind of hunched over grabbing my arm. Um, it blew up immediately, lots of swelling, it wasn't cute. Fortunately, after seeing the doctor and everything, um, it turns out I just manip manipulated a bunch of scar tissue, uh, broke that free, and then I strained my wrist flexors a little bit. So all in all, okay, nothing bad. Um, next question we're gonna do is, what is our favorite thing about each other? Do you wanna answer first or do you want me to go? You go first, thing So my favorite thing about Joey is, um, so honestly, like the, it would be how supportive he is of, of my strongman career. Um, so nice, thanks. <laughs> so, you know, for us, we've been together for, oh gosh, almost six and a half years now. Um, and Joey has kind of been along for the ride throughout the entire rise up of my career. When we first met, I was competing as a 105 kilo athlete. Um, and, you know, actually, Right, we met in the beginning of September of 2014, and like two weeks later, I I had a America's Strongest Man as a 105 athlete, and Joey uh, had absolutely no idea what Strongman was or what America's Strongest Man was, or that it was like a pretty big contest. Yeah. Uh, I ended up taking second place, came home with a trophy, and the only thing he could talk about was the fact that who was it that was on my flight? Oh, I thought it was Jake Gyllenhaal, but it was. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Chris so Chris Pine. Pine was on my flight home from Vegas, um, and I'm all excited that I have a second place trophy. He's like, "Did you see Chris Pine was on your flight?" And I was like, "Oh, cool. <laughs> appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate that." You but, look great. Did you see Chris Pine? <laughs> but ever since then, um, he's pretty much accompanied me to almost every single competition I've done, um, and you know, to do that while in grad school for OT was was pretty difficult. But um, but he did it, and it's uh, yeah, it's been amazing to have the support. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah. I'd say the best thing about you is probably how you're, I'm more like a type A and high strung person and he's more like laid back and chill so he kind of balances me out, especially. She's especially when I'm, especially when I'm like anxious, he's like good at bringing me back down to reality. And there she goes. <laughs> so okay, next, next one. one we do, uh, how did you guys meet? Do you want to take this one or do you want me to take Let this you one? You go ahead and go for it. So this wonderful romantic app called Grinder, where you meet the love of your life instantly, <laughs> is where we met. So it's not really romantic, but basically we met online and kind of just talked to each other. We didn't even meet or talk to each other on the phone. No, like I, I wasn't even out yet. I was still a closeted gay boy. I wasn't even an out and proud gay boy. Yeah. Um, so we met and yeah, like we had, we had talked and texted and talked on the phone for like over two weeks before we went on our first date. Yeah. And here we are. Kind of follows, goes into the next question, how long have you two been together? Um, about six and a half years, so 
September of 2014 is when we, we started dating. We met. We met in August of that year. We started dating September 6th. And we've been married for like yeah, a year and a half. We got married March of 2019. Oh, it's almost two years actually. What? Why did you two move across the country? So, Take it. So it started with me, so I graduated grad school for occupational therapy in December of 2019. And then I was supposed to take my boards in March, but obviously due to the pandemic and COVID, those were shut down. So I finally was able to take my exam in July and I wanted to kind of get a full-time job and it was harder around where we lived in Massachusetts just because it's so saturated with OT schools. But we were even thinking about like probably moving somewhere else besides Massachusetts because we've never even lived anywhere else. So we yeah, applying all over. Yeah, the topic of me. the topic of moving had been a had been something on our minds for a while. Um, Joey is a Western Mass native. I went to school, you know, in the area and found full time work um, after you know undergrad and grad school. So we'd been there for a long time, and <clears throat> you know, I think being a young couple, no kids, really nothing tying us down, we felt felt that it was like the perfect time to branch out and experience life somewhere else. So that was really what led us here to the Pacific Northwest, which has been amazing so far. Um, it is honestly one of the prettiest places we've ever been. You know, the fact that we live 15 minutes away from a major city and then we drive 30 minutes east and we're in these gorgeous snow-capped mountains, it just, it doesn't seem real. Every time we're driving, you know, to the store or something, we just see the mountains. It's, it's hard to look at the road and <laughs> not look at those. Yeah. Um, it's just such a different landscape than, than Massachusetts. It's absolutely gorgeous. So things have been going really well here so far. Yeah, we're in Washington. And luckily we like our jobs, so can't complain. Um, the next question was about uh, supplements. So, like, what pre-workout do we take? Protein, what supplements do we kind of take on a regular basis? So. Starting with the easy one, um, protein and pre-workout. So, as all of you should know, and if you don't know, appreciate that. Now you do know. Um, I am sponsored by Animal. And so I use all of their products, which, I mean, if anybody's familiar with the supplement world, Animal has been around since literally the 70s. So, pretty tried and true and legit stuff. So we use their animal whey protein pretty often. Uh, Pre-workout wise, I do a combination of the Rage and Fury. Mix them together. Um, gives a nice little boost. <clears throat> um, as far as other supplements go, we do take the Animal Cuts, um, which is nice. Um, a little bit of a fat burner, but also just nice for like maintained energy throughout the day. Yeah. And um, then I also take Animal Stack and Animal PM just to help me sleep and recover at night. Um, yeah, I just take the pre-workout and the BCAs and then the cuts for the morning yeah. and like afternoon. And then supplements outside of Animal that we take, um, we take a multivitamin every single day. And then also vitamin D. Um, D3 is a big one just to... You know, I think there's a lot of people that have vitamin D deficiencies, so it's never a bad thing just to take a little bit of that um, every single day. How did you both come out to your families? That's a long story. I don't know if I can answer that Can you? <laughs> we'll do another video about that one. Yeah. That works. Um, how many days a week do you train? This is actually a good one. So everybody <laughs> automatically assumes that since I'm a professional strongman, all I do is work out, and uh, it's not the case. I like my rest days, and I only rest on my rest days. So we train four days a week. Um, our typical training split is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday right now, um, where we're doing two upper body days, a lower body day that's typically consisted of deadlifts and squats, um, and then an event day. That's the normal schedule. Now with my injury, um, with the move across country and just trying to get back into training, it's a little bit different. So we're doing two upper body days. Well, Joey's doing two upper body days. Yeah. I'm not. Um, and then Joey has a squat day and a deadlift day. Right now I'm training squats. And we're incorporating all the time. a lot of mobility, right? We're starting to incorporate mobility. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's something Joey's been on me for a long time. So he's been excited about that. Me, not so much. All right, this is for Joey. Does strongman ever put a stress on your relationship um, or does it make it stronger? I guess both. Like it does put on stress, but like dealing with it and overcoming it makes 
us stronger, like in our relationship, because obviously in the beginning of our relationship, it wasn't like too much of a stressor because it was kind of more like a hobby. And now it's kind of more like your second job. Yeah, and it's a full blown career. It's like a lifestyle change. So like, in order for me to like be more involved in your life, I'm strong into the huge part of my life. And obviously I enjoy it, but it's definitely taken more percentage of my life. So it's definitely a lifestyle change. I think like, especially with that too, is like, you know, like competing at this level, like it's just weird because to us, a weekend trip from US to the UK is just like normal, normal, <laughs> which seems yeah. so strange, you know. Uh, you know, when I take off of work, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to England for the weekend. Um, people would, you know, they like, kind what? of look at us like we have 15 heads. But I think that's probably, you know, part of the biggest stressor too is trying to organize life. Yeah, around I mean, everything. Make sure we still have time to do like more personal things stuff with each life. other, not just. Because to be able to, you know, for us to be juggling full-time careers and then on top of strongman and training and, you know, nutrition and all that, it, it's definitely a lot. We have very full, long days, but I think we found a good balance and it works out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Last thing. Favorite thing about strongman? For me, probably being able to travel to places that we normally wouldn't have traveled or even thought of traveling to. But then the part two of that is meeting all the different kinds of people that compete in strongman from all over the world. I wouldn't mind. So Joey, he is, he's, you know, one of the favorite strongman wives. Um, so him and all the girls have, you know, group chats and they always hang out. Um, my favorite story to tell about Joey is when he came to World's Strongest Man for the first time in the Philippines in 2018. It was the hottest and most miserable contest of my life. Story. <laughs> it was like 105 degrees and like 90% humidity. And with World's Strongest Man, the first couple of days are like just work, work, work. It's like TV interviews, medical assessments, equipment testing, all this stuff. So Joey gets there. I'm off doing equipment testing and we're coming back to do some interviews and we're walking past the pool and there is Joey with all the other wives laying in hammocks next to the pool, drinking pina coladas out of coconuts as I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> um, so Joey obviously likes coming to the competitions. We were holding the fort down. Uh, for me, my favorite thing is, um, I would say it's, it's the friendship and the brotherhood of the sport. I never, never imagined getting into this level of the sport. When I started off competing, I never thought I'd be at World's Strongest Man and doing this kind of stuff. Um, but to be at this level now and to have so many amazing friendships with guys all over the world uh, really is the coolest thing. You know, obviously lifting and getting stronger and, you know, the quote unquote fame that comes with it is fun as well. But I think the relationships that we've developed over the past few years are, are some that are going to last for a lifetime. And I think that's probably the most special thing about the sport. So yeah, so that's all we got for the Q&A. As I mentioned, we will do another video of our coming out stories because that's a little bit in-depth and deeper and um, we're both long-winded. So as always, make sure you check out Gymshark for all of your clothing needs, um, Animal Pack for all of your supplements. We got Certified Piedmontese for all your beef and meat and ESC sounds as well for great, great, great headphones to listen to while you are training. And as always, we also have SBD that's been on board with me since the beginning. Um, other than that, peace out till next time. Adios.